Rosh Hashanah is celebrated for two days everywhere, both in Israel and the Diaspora. Why two days? So the Zohar says that on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, we're judged as individuals. We're judged by ourselves. But on the second day of Rosh Hashanah, we're judged together as a community. On the first day, Kivnei Moron, like sheep individually walking through a corral. But on the second day of Rosh Hashanah, we're judged B'skira Achas, in one glance, together, as a community. A couple months ago, at the 50th celebration of the reunification of Yerushalayim, at Ammunition Hill, a place that Jewish National Fund is involved in, and a place that celebrates the reunification of Yerushalayim. One of our JNF future, one of our young people, said something so profound. She said, I'm going to be here for the hundredth reunification of Jerusalem. That gives us a breath in our chest. We're doing something right. Here you have someone who cares about the community, who is a part of something greater than herself. This is someone who has a vision for the future. And that's what Rosh Hashanah is all about. You see, there's a duality of Rosh Hashanah. On the one hand, it's a day of year and pachar. It's a day of fear. It's frightening to be judged. But on the other hand, it's a day of simcha. It's a day of rejoicing. Because what better way to rejoice than to be a part of the community? We at Jewish National Fund are giving individuals a unique voice in building up the land of Israel and moving us toward the future. And that's something to think about this Rosh Hashanah that we're part of a community, that we at Jewish National Fund are providing the opportunity to people to be, to be a part of something great. And as we enter the year 5778, we should have a Shana Tova Musuka, a sweet and blessed new year, and we should be able to move our community forward towards the future. Shana Tova.